Michael Carter, Cardinals running back, was a guest on the Bickley and Murata show today. And this continues the theme that we have heard nonstop about Kyla Murray basically since Monty Austin Fort and Jonathan Gannon took over the operation, right? I, and and I'll play the cut, and we'll all kind of nod our head in agreement, like, yep, this is what we've heard about Kyla Murray. But when you, when you juxtapose that with what we used to hear about Kyla Murray and what we used to think about Kyla Murray and what used to scare us about Kyla Murray, in some ways all of our hopes and dreams have come true when it comes to Kyler. Here's the cut from Michael Carter. The more I've, like, got to know him, I don't, I don't, I don't think he ever leaves here. And I'm in the building right now. I don't think he leaves here. I don't. Um, he's always in here. He's the freaking first person in. I'm sure. He's, I'm sure he's the last person out. I know for a fact he's probably the last person out. Cause you know, there's sometimes where I try to be the first person. I might like last week. I just one time I was like, you know what? Let me just try to be the first person in. And I think I'm, I think we had a work. I think we had a meeting at nine fifteen. I think I might have got here like seven fifteen maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's two hours, you know. Yeah. A Lambo already here. <laughs> a Lambo already here. <laughs> a Lambo here. This is an early nomination for Soundbite wow. of the Week right here. That, that's the, uh, I'm that Lambo the already nomination. here. That Lambo already here. <laughs> that, that Lamborghini is sitting in the parking lot. Oh, He's already here at 7.15. I'm all happy. I'm Damn driving him. in. I get up at 6.30. I'm on the road by 6.45. I'm like, I'm going to be the first one in. And you get there and Damn. That Lambo already there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But, but it, look, we it's, can sit here and talk about the version on the field we want Kyler Murray to be. And obviously, that's still a work in progress. And obviously, this is a big year for that. But off the field, he has checked every box. He is satisfied. Yeah. Every dream. Like, it's all there when it comes to Kyler and what he's done off the field. Well, I think this. in many ways, you have to, you know, you can't really check one box without the other. Um, I agree. I, That's a great point. I think you have to check the first box to be able to get to the second box. Yes. So I really don't think that Kyler would have been able to really check that second box of being one of the elite great quarterbacks in the league unless you get through the first box. You know, it's got to be step by step, right? You can't just avoid step one, which is I'm going to work my ass off. I'm going to study. I'm going to hit the weight room. I'm going to be in meetings. I'm going to be a great teammate. I'm going to do all of that stuff and just go right to step two. I mean, you can't, you know, you, 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 you got to advance past go to collect the $200. You got advanced pass go. You know, that's collecting the $200 right there. Now you want to go buy Park City and Broadway and all of that stuff. You've just advanced pass go. Now you can go do it. Boardwalk. Yeah, what'd I say? Broadway. Broadway? Yeah. It's Boardwalk. not Broadway? No, it's Boardwalk. Okay, Broadwalk. Park, Park Place and Boardwalk. When was the last time you played Monopoly? It's been, it's been a while. It's been a minute? It's been a bit. Been... <laughs> Always hated that game. It takes forever. I don't no, like games that know, take two you know hours what? to Honestly, play. Honestly, it doesn't if you play by the rules. And the rules are you're not supposed to put $500 in the middle for free parking. I swear to God, if you play Monopoly where you don't put $500 in the middle for free parking, you know, and you land on free parking and you get the $500, the game, it's like a normal length board game. Okay. Players go bankrupt, the game ends, there's a winner, and you're done, as opposed to these, like, day-long marathons, you know, days-long right. marathons of Monopoly where you just play and play and play and play. This way, it's much quicker, so it doesn't yeah. really take forever. So you got to check box one to get to box two, and under... Cliff Kingsbury was very doubtful whether Kyler was going to be able to check box one. No, and that's he got by a natural talent, a natural talent alone, but he was not an elite quarterback in this league. That's the that's the because look, I don't want to dismiss the things that Kyler did under Cliff. He did some really good things. He, he put the Pro Bowls. He played well. He got took him to the playoffs. They won. He was a middle tier quarterback. Games, but there was always something that you knew was missing a little bit, and it was it was sheer talent that he was getting by on. He'd run around like crazy and make these unbelievable plays, and he'd win a game, or they'd win some games, like, wow. Um, but he's got he's to be better. He's got to win by by being smart. He's got to win by, you know, high football IQ, making the good reads, making the right throws, not just relying on his incredible athletic ability to bail him out when things don't go right. And you want to lessen that. You still have that. It's still there. But you don't want to have to rely on that as much as he did when he was with Cliff. Which is why it was, and it's it's just one website, one list. But I got to admit, it's it's total clickbait stuff, and it, it pulled me in. Pro Football Focus, sometimes we love them, sometimes we hate them, had their quarterback rankings today. They're like pre-season -pre quarterback rankings. Tier 1, they just had Patrick Mahomes by himself. Tier 2, they had Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, and Josh Allen. Tier three, they had a bunch of guys, including C.J. Stroud. It wasn't until tier four, which they labeled the melting pot of starters, that they had Kyler Murray 
as the 17th Ooh. best quarterback in the NFL. Give me the quarterbacks he's in there with. Jordan Love was number 11. Okay. Trevor Lawrence was 12. Okay, these are those are both young up and coming quarterbacks on the rise. Brock Purdy was 13. Okay. Tua was 14. Kirk Cousins was 15. Okay, so there's the one old veteran. Jared Goff was 16. Okay, another old veteran. Kyler was 17. That was his group. I, that I, was his I, his category. You know, we, we kind of email stuff back and forth today. When I saw that, the first thing I noticed on that list was Jared Goff. Because I, I break quarterbacks down into three tiers in football, and I make it very basic. This guy's great. This guy's good. This guy sucks. And that's how I think. I mean, I really, I just don't want to overcomplicate things. I want to keep it simple, stupid. There's 10 quarterbacks in this league that are great. There are 10 that are, you know, good. And there are 10 that suck. Okay. And I like Kyler's this. This in is this. Good. It's true. Kyler right now is in the category with Jared Goff and Kirk Cousins and Brock Purdy. You're a good quarterback. You're not great. You're good. You know, you're not Patrick Mahomes, but you're good. Can And I sat there and I said to myself when I saw that, oh, I wish he was higher. The question is, can you win with a guy in that category? And I think Jared Goff proved last year that you can win a lot of games with a guy in that category. Well, and Brock Purdy did, too. Brock Purdy did, too. Uh, Jordan Love won a playoff game. And he's Jordan in Love that was category. outstanding. I mean, Jordan Love wasn't, you know, Jordan Love is an outstanding young quarterback. I mean, I am really a big fan of his. That kid's got some great games. Second favorite player in the NFL behind Boy, him. I'll tell, you, Brown. I'll tell you. Um, I, but the way you talk about him, I think I would put. I, and, I think the kid's great. And once again, you're just trying to torture Lauren today because already you, you're, you're dissing on her Cubs, and now you're picking two players in the division. Because you kept dismissing Bears. Jordan Love like half of last year every time I said he was great. I'm oh, like, I'm telling you. It was me? It I was, get like, this I, kid's great. I'm telling you, this kid's great. He throws for three touchdowns every freaking so, game. So and you love Jordan Love to spite me? No, no. I love Jordan Love because, the, you know, I played fantasy football, and my quarterback was there, Joe Burrow, and Joe we Burrow went out, and I picked up Jordan Love, and there he, made, he put me in the money. Um, <laughs> now we figured it out. Now we get to the No, bottom. No, but I did. I mean, he's really, really good. Yeah. Like, he's right on the verge of being a top 10 quarterback in this league right now. What, number 11 on that list? Number 11 on this list. Yeah, C.J. Stroud is number 10. He's in the, the tier above, uh, tier three, along with Jalen Hurts, Aaron Rodgers, Matthew Stafford, Dak Prescott, and Justin Herbert. So, to answer your question, yes, there are quarterbacks in this middle tier who can win. I, I think it goes without saying that if Kyler Murray I'm based— at the spam commercial right now, and God, I just love spam. I'm sorry. I mean, squirrel. They're sizzle, pork, and spam. Oh, Gambo's, uh, sorry. Gambo's got, attention span squirrel is spam on one the, of the TV. Few people, I love spam. But okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just got— <laughs> I got blown away by a spam commercial. I'm like, man, I used to eat that stuff when I was a kid all the time. I lived off of that. I love it. Uh, you know what? No, we have to take a break anyway. It's fine. We'll just we'll right, send it to a break on Gambo's love of spam, and we'll all contemplate that during the break. And when we come back, we'll comment on the fact that I've never eaten spam a day what? in my life. Oh, I don't I've, know what you're missing. I've never eaten spam a day yeah, in my no, life. You have I've no idea what you're missing. It. Never had it. No. Thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from Arizona Sports.